is Finn. He is a Boykin Spaniel Standard Poodle Mix. He is 18 months old. And this is day one. I just picked him up. We are going to do the evaluation for first. He is here for two week boarding train. Oh, yeah. This is Finn's evaluation walk. I slowed this video clip down so you can see that he is not aware that I exist at the other end of the leash. Note how he drops his nose to the ground. Also note the straight line the leash makes indicating strong pulling behavior as Finn drags me forward. Finn is not aware that I'm turning around and lunges forward creating a very strong pull to my shoulder and hand. Finn is in charge of the walk. Good job, Finn. Good boy. Okay, I'm going to be using a food exchange to exchange for the uh, different toys that I have today. We're working with the release command right? <laughs> what is the follow command? The follow command is an informal leash walking command. It doesn't matter if the dog is in front, behind, or to either side in terms of position. What I'm looking for is three things. Finn visually checking in with me occasionally. Also, a nice slack leash and Finn turning when I turn. Here we go with the follow command. Follow. Again, looking for a nice slack leash. I don't care if he's to either side or, or in front or behind me while I'm walking. I just want him to be aware that I exist at the other end of the leash that he's visually checking in every now and then. Change of pace, see if he's keeping up, paying attention. And you can see how he's turning his head. He's looking to see if I'm turning. Very, very nice. So in this environment, he is doing everything that is required to complete the follow command. his feet should stop. I don't care if he sits or stands, doesn't matter. I just want him to be aware. Follow. Follow. Uh, hand signals he's going to be learning and obviously he's jumping on me it's day one I, I don't really care about that right now so let's go ahead and talk about the hand signals this will be sit it's two fingers uh, my thumb is usually across the other fingers and it just kind of lets him know when I wiggle my fingers that it's time to sit so you will see me uh, giving that particular hand signal over the, the two weeks the other hand signal you'll see me do, and it doesn't matter whether it's my right or left hand, is to kind of like scoop air to my side. That is the hand signal for the follow command, which is the informal leash walking command. Sit. Follow. Sit. Follow. Sit. Follow. Follow, sit, follow, sit, follow, sit, break, good boy, good job, good boy. 
Finn. And I ask Finn to sit. I don't care if he sits or he goes into the down position. The only thing I care about is that he is stationary. Break. Good boy, sit. Break. Sit. Break. Looking for a little bit of duration here on day one. Follow. Sit. So if he jumps up on me, I'm going to ask for a sit. Notice I'm using my hand signal and my verbal command. Body language is my feet stopped moving. Follow. Sit. Again, some duration built into this exercise. Follow. And notice I dropped out the verbal for the sit. Okay, so he came off of his sit, so I'm gonna go ahead and re-sit him. I did not give a release command, my feet did not move. Finn, sit. Good boy. Break, good job, Finn. Good boy, good job. Finn, sit. Wait. release command. I've got his uh, toys. I'm going to go ahead and start that. Usually I get animated or if I have a toy I'll just throw it. Break! Okay, I was waiting to see if he was going to bring it back. Uh, this is day one, so I'm not real sure how he plays with his toys. So um, he doesn't look like he has a really high uh, prey drive. Uh, so let's just go with what we got going on here with toy number two. Break. Okay, so he's not interested. And these are his toys from home. Ben. Where's your toys? Your toys. What about your bone? Okay, there we go for that. So what I'm gonna do is add energy to the next event and you can see how that changes the uh, world of play. And here we go with that. I've got some different size balls. Uh, obviously balls have some motion associated with it unlike uh, the other toys. So here we go with that. Break. <laughs> Good toy. Okay, so he likes that. Good job, Finn. Okay, so he uh, runs away from my hand. Again, dogs think if you're going to grab what's in their mouth, they're gonna avoid that. If he does bring it back to me, I can go ahead and do a food exchange. So let me go ahead and walk over to him with a little treat and do a food exchange to let him know that it's okay to give it to me because I'm gonna give you something back. Yes, and I'm going to mark it with the word yes as I pick up his ball because it is going to disappear from his, his uh, vision here. Break. Good boy. Good job, Finn. Wow, you got it. Good boy. And give. Okay, so he gave it that time. Yes. So mark it with the word yes and give him a little treat. Okay, so let's try our really big ball and see how he plays with this. Ben, break. What do you think of that? Is that too big? Is that too big? Where is it? What about this one? Break. Different size ball. 
Good boy, Finn. Good job. And give. Okay, so I got to touch it for just a moment and he walked away with it. So I'm going to go ahead and get the food out. Finn, give your ball. Where's your ball? Okay, so he did touch it with his nose. Okay, so let's go ahead and use the ball that he really likes, which is this tennis ball. Finn, break. Hey, off he goes for that. Finn, give. And I've got his treat ready here. Yes. So I'm taking out of his my mouth and marking it with the word yes and giving him a little treat for the food exchange. And there we go. So his favorite toy is this simple yellow tennis ball.